we are happy to show you a well-known Chattanooga artist helping inmates discover their inner artistic talents. Well, Lori Mitchell shows us how she's inspiring people who are looking for a second chance. It's tonight's Making a Difference segment. Robin Howe loves sharing art. This one is really old, but a lot of people have seen it. One of the fun things is, of course, it's so old that they, you have none of Manufacturer's Road. And as I said, I did this with my fingers and my left hand. I paint mostly with my fingers. She comes from a family of artists, but surprisingly didn't start creating her own art until age 40. Once she started, she never stopped. One of the appeals of my art, actually, is that I don't have straight lines and that in a world that can feel sometimes confining, it's very freeing to have somebody who is whimsical. How now teaches art to men who are confined in the Hamilton County Jail. For the time that I'm there, it's almost like being removed from the whole world, and in some ways that's very relaxing. Her weekly class is sponsored by the nonprofit Mark Making, which provides a chance for personal expression to people who don't have access to the arts. She teaches no more than 15 men at a time, and they are shackled during class. A lot of their criminals are crimes of passion, and you see the real sensitive side of people who may be broke and, you know, they did it, they murdered somebody. But those are also people who are really bleeding. And I feel like that comes through in a lot of their work, and it's really overwhelming. She has to get creative with supplies. Scissors and glue aren't allowed in. So we'll let's say I take in 15 pencils. I have to count 15 pencils in the beginning of class. I have to count 15 pencils at the end of the class. If there are 14 pencils, nobody can leave. If a pencil is broken in half, nobody can leave. Because something like a pencil is a weapon. She uses things like fabrics and tissues. They can't do jagged mountains, of course, because so I have to cut all the pieces for them to put together. So you always have to really practice. There's absolutely, you can't wing it at all. The inmate's art is personal, says Howe, showing us some examples. His mouth mask makes him hold back what he really wants to say, but cannot because he is gracious. Hal describes the inmates as polite and eager to learn and says they appreciate that someone is doing something for them. It feels really good to bring something to these guys who have nothing else to do all day. I mean, people, they really, really appreciate you. You know, it's not like a bunch of students who get art every day. This is like a really big deal for them. So, um, yeah, it is. It's, it's a pretty good feeling to know that you're helping that way offering a different avenue for expression than violence. With this week's Making a Difference, I'm Lori Mitchell.